All right, hang in there, little guys. I know that things have been really rough, but I promise I will start making life better for our little macaque soon. Oh, hello everyone, and welcome back to our daily adventures here in Zudesia Zoo, where chaos reigns as we turn our eyes to the macaque exhibit, and we find it missing enough food, the water is filthy, there is poop everywhere, we have got just absolute chaos going on, the habitat is cracked, how do we not have- I deserve to have this place full of protesters. I deserve that. I really do. And Keeper Dia, we need to have you actually do some good work. So Keeper Dia, you have cleaned up a hundred poops over your, your life. The Habitat 2's water looks undrinkable. The staff room is so far away. Keeper Dia, I think we can actually make her life a little better if we make sure that she, yeah, she stays at Pangolin Point. So that work zone is right over here and she should have a staff room to rest in. Yeah, there's a staff restroom right over here, but it's inefficient due to maybe its location. <gasps> what the heck? Luna, you were just gonna slide that wolf pup in here like like it was a nobody's business? What? You don't understand. The people that we have in our lives are really obsessed with wolf pups and we just had the birth of a wolf pup. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Welcome to little... Mars. We're gonna name him Little Mars because Soul has turned out to be a really aggressive wolf. Um, oh my gosh, I didn't even have a chance to name one of our pangolins. <sighs> There's so much going on. And our flamingo welfare is beginning to nosedive for some reason and I don't know quite why. Uh, this one is doing better now. Okay. Oh my gosh. People. I need to take their money. I have no money. I am in negative monies. We've reached a critical point. <laughs> a really, really, really critical point. Okay. Okay. Uh, ongoing expenses. Staff wages are still way high. I need to fire more staff, I think, unfortunately. Power costs are really going up. I need to feed my Galapagos tortoises, and I don't have any food to do that with. So now I need to take out a huge loan. Holy cow. Had to take out a huge loan at 10% interest because otherwise there's no way we're going to be able to make this bounce back up. So guys, we need to like have a major like hold everything day. All right there, you whippersnappers, making this zoo go way too quick together. That's why constant expansion and not enough maintenance, you're making it collapse on itself. So thank you for your wisdom, Galapagos tortoise. Oh, ye wise one, pie dad, apparently. Here we go, and I want to come over to this mail. And we're going to name him Aldo, after the male who kept trying to eat my dress when I was a zookeeper for a day with these guys. And I want to make them happy and healthy, get their welfare up, make sure that they have some special enrichment. We have a lot to do. We have a lot to do. Okay, we have wolf pups. We have a huge zoo. We have too much staff. We need to do some maintenance. <sighs> Okay, first step first. <laughs> Let's get these tortoises kind of happy. They're like completely happy, literally just like this. They're like, see, you just need the patience of enjoying the sand that you happen to have around here. Um, all right, let's come over and we'll add in a couple more rocks just to like even up this edge. All right, so I gotta think about this. This is, this is my thinking time as I place down a couple rocks to try to make this look semi-decent. And we can evaluate what we have done. And we can think about how we are going to fix things. So how are we going to fix all of this, I wonder? There we go. All right, there. That looks very nice on that side. Well, the staff cost is really eating us from the inside. We need to get more donations up. Having new animals and healthy, happy animals in the zoo is what gets donations up. I know we have a lot of animals. We have them all kind of spread out a little bit too far in some spots. Let's see. Let's get this over. There we go. So I think we need to be more discretionary with our staff. Figure out who has a workload that's just really, really light that could possibly be, forgive us, but removed from the establishment. We're in the red. 
and we're not recovering very well. And we need to fix that. All right, let's rotate this puppy a little bit. There we go. And up. How's that look? Decent enough. All right, so we covered that up. The Galapagos tortoises are apparently completely content with whatever we give them. Uh, let's get the staff. Oh, we're in trouble, my friends. Vet research, yes, 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 that's what we needed. We now have advanced diagnosis, you guys, huzzah. We now have decreased the likelihood of animals catching the disease, reducing the di disease recovery time and reducing delays until death from critical diseases. We have advanced treatment, so we no longer have to worry quite so much about this Campylobacterius. And then we also have advanced pharmacology, greatly decreases the likelihood of animals catching diseases, reduces disease recovery rate, and delays death from disease. 250%! We have researched that. Huzzah! All right. And we have quite a few vets, but we still have the big problems with everyone being sick. I'm putting Miss Rose on researching Galapagos tortoises. For now, the tortoises are fine. We need to take a message from them. What we also need to do is make sure that we are really efficient with this staff. So there's very high workloads. Okay, there's efficient workloads. Very high workloads on the vendors. They're really being worked quite a bit, but who's our most expensive staff? The caretakers are okay. The keepers? Having so many mechanics, I think, is a bit of a gross exaggeration. And mechanic Butter is really tired, and he has no work zone. I think all of the mechanics with no work zone... We're gonna remove them. Forgive me, guys! <laughs> but I need, I need some salvation here. I need some salvation. And Mechanic Freak, let's go find Mechanic Freak. He is working. Money really isn't an issue. He should be fixing the barrier. So, wait, no, don't edit the barrier. Let's go ahead and call the mechanic. This is the Snowy Forest. Snowy Macaque Forest. I need to make sure I spell macaque correctly. That's a cooler. All right, M-A-C-A-Q-U-E. There we go. So that's Macaque Forest. It's really ugly. I really want to improve it quite significantly. The water we should actually have cleaning itself now that we have a new water treatment plant that is fully operational. Thank freaking goodness. It is treating two different bodies of water. Uh, yay! The pangolin's water is beginning to really clear up. Okay, good. We have almost too many pangolins. That is definitely a thing. And if we have so many vendors, yeah, we actually need more vendors. So we hired, we fired a bunch of people. I think we need to hire more vendors. And we need to make sure that they are able to reach the correct place to rest. So at least we'll get more people shopping here. Okay, I need to have, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. That's also true. So I clearly need to have more bins. If I had more bins, people wouldn't be nearly as wasteful. There's a lot of litter. So let's just make sure that there's a lot of bins to balance that out. I need to have my... Okay, I have high workload on all of my caretakers. Let's hire another caretaker. Grab the man. Get over here. And then you, sir, are going to work only in pangolin point and let's manage that work zone to make sure that for him it includes this area too there and that that water filter okay there we go so he's going to maintain pangolin point and hopefully keep it pretty clean because we don't want all of this filth there's a lot of filth too Oof. so hopefully he'll stay over there like we have more trash over here pancake the second is already growing up <laughs> we have too many pangolins I actually need to take a minute because there's so many of them. Holy badoodles. Like, we have eight pangolins. There's only supposed to be so many pangolins in one exhibit. We're still losing money. 
I had to hire some stuff, but I fired some of the more expensive stuff. Um, holy pangolins. They're so cute. Oh, we have another little baby, a little boy. What are we gonna name him? Let's see. Let's go ahead and name him. We have pancake tea, bagel, saucer, waffles, mango. Let's go with uh, papaya. No, let's go with, um, hmm. What's one of my other favorite treats? We already have bagels. Croissant? Bread? Toast? Uh, toast. I do love toast. Toast the little baby pangolin. And then we have a female who slipped by and we'll name her Papaya. There. <laughs> we have a, a really an adorable tea section for pangolins. <laughs> Waffles is so old. Waffles, I'm gonna miss you so much. We have mostly baby boys too, which is not ideal. Saucer can actually like stay with them for quite a while. Uh, whew, bagel? You know what, bagel? Bagel. If I sent you to the Trade Center, I hate to do it, but we have so many baby boys. How many, what What are pangolins going for right now? Let's find out. So let's go any species and then let's find the Chinese pangolin. There we go. Oh, you can still buy them for money. <laughs> oh my gosh, all right. So I don't know if you would go for much. Um, but it might be worth it. It might be worth it. So I'm going to actually put him up. It looks like 500 is pretty good, at least. Let's look at his genes. Because maybe, actually, we might want to keep Bagel over Saucer, depending on their genetics. So I'm going to need to compare them really quickly. Oh, there's so much happening. <gasps> look at the healthy, healthy genes. We have really fertile pangolins. That's what's going on. All right. Bagel, saucer, how you doing? How are you boys? Okay, bagel doesn't have as good of genes, so actually we would want more of saucer's genes. All right, bagel, so we're gonna go ahead and put bagel in the storage in the trade center and then come in. Bagel. We do too have a pangolin. Oh, wait, 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 need Chinese pangolin. All right, Chinese pangolin. There we go. All right. Wait, what? Oh no, this is the, I want my animals. This is my animal storage, right? Wait, do I have another female pangolin in here? What? Since when did I have another female pangolin in here? Bagel, come here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. All right, Bagel, come here. We're gonna go ahead and we are going to try trading Bagel. And we're going to increase the, tr oh, you can edit the trade price now. Okay, oh no, you can't, okay. Let's try for, Bagel's jeans are semi-decent and I saw some of those other pangolins weren't quite as healthy. So we're gonna try to adopt Bagel out for like 665. Cause he's pretty, he's pretty fair. I think he could do it. Maybe even 700. All right, 665, 500 is probably more reasonable. There you go, Bagel. And if that doesn't work, we'll put you in a new exhibit and you can have some other, that you can, we'll put you in that female in another exhibit. Whew. Okay. Now what do we have going on? New people visiting, a water treatment plant underground is failing. We can call a mechanic. Mechanic should be en route if they're available. Uh, and there should be a mechanic available. All right. Okay, there we go. Had to get out of the ground. The macaques are expecting offspring. Are they doing better now? Is the water clean? The water is getting clean. Oh, thank goodness. How is the barricade? The barricade is still in really terrible condition. Pancake the second has matured. Where is my, where, oh, where is my mechanic? I don't need this many workshops now. We can actually get rid of having so many workshops. And I don't think I need to have two vet surgeries now? Let me see, inefficient, but why is it inefficient? There's no staff for animals, so we can actually, whoops, okay, not what I wanted to do, but that will help. We should probably still keep the quarantine area. There's no animals in here right now, but we'll keep it just in case, but we can get rid of some of this path. There we go. 
All right, what we really probably need more of are places for people to rest, but we'll work on that. All right, so we have cleared away a lot of our staff, as devastating as that can be. And we are going to make room, I'm hoping, for another spot that we can add in more animals. In fact, that's what we should probably focus on while we have the amount of money that we do. While we are trying desperately to manage the extreme cost that we've got, looking for more animals who need less... Uh, oh, the tickets are underpriced. Yes! Let's go with 17, and let's go with 7. Oof. Ticket prices do help quite a bit with this. Alright, there we go. But... Come on, income! <laughs> oh, come on, income! Alright, yeah, the ongoing expenses are still pretty high for the staff, but we did send a bunch of them away. We need to figure out more ways to separate people from their money. Uh, the animal food is getting really expensive. The facility running costs are really expensive. But... How can- let's focus less on expenses and more on income. What could we increase more of? Shop income? Souvenir sales? Adoptions have really gone up. Info kiosks. If people knew more about the animals, I think they would donate. So let's actually work on getting the education of our guest up. Because I think, yeah, their education is pretty low. So, whew. All right, guys. Oh, another diseased animal. Okay, hopefully we can really get a cinch on that. Oof. Oof. Okay. All right. And I do think that the next route will actually be focusing on education so information no no no. i want i want education for these people so there so education in all ways and all things getting some conservation education boards put down some educational speakers maybe i know i have i could have sworn where's my big all right this thing right here yeah, I have like a really cool education habitat board that is actually set up somewhere. I don't know where it is, so we're just going to go ahead and select all of this and save as a blueprint. New blueprint. And there we go. Name? Name. Oh, there we go. There we go. Education station. A description is required. Oh, a simple education station and i didn't build this but for some reason it's vanished from my selection uh information yes there all right and now i think i can actually come in and what why is it locked that's so odd i i must not have that education thing anymore i was able to put it down before tickets are underpriced thank goodness let's crank those puppies up then 24 and ten dollars. I need the money All right, I think we're making some progress guys. I'm pretty dubious about some things uh, Why don't I have the old education boards? Who knows? Let's try This is habitat board logs Interesting Habitat information stand Habitat education board. I really liked the other one that somebody else once upon a time built Hmm. Oh, there it is. The Habitat Info Board. <laughs> I was just kind of blind for some reason. All right. Well, I'll delete that other thing. All right. So let's educate these people the heck about Galapagos tortoises and all of the other animals. And I'm hoping that will get them... Oh, there's no power for this one. Whew. And I'm hoping that will get them to start donating more money. If we really increase... Let's get the education for our flamingos too. We're missing out on opportunities to teach people all of the cool things we know about them. The more we teach them, the more they're going to care, the more they're going to donate. As they should, because, you know, these animals, they need help. Also, I don't think I can put this one. I think I've learned through trial and error that for some reason this thing... Yeah, it does not want to go on bridges. <laughs> uh, but I wonder if I just need to do... Like that. Ha-ha! I have outsmarted you. Little habitat board. 
Take that, I say. All right. And then slide it this way. You guys, we've got this. We're going to figure it out. We're going to make ourselves giant panda education. We're going to get the education stations all over the place. Like, no, the people don't even know what these macaques are. They're missing out. They're so missing out. There. Sweet. Slowly but surely. Also, Luna has low welfare for some reason. And they have a puppy. There's a freaking wolf puppy over here. Like, come on, guys. That's amazing. Donate more money. Okay. We're going to carry on. Oh, my gosh. The glass fence is definitely getting broken. Oof. Call a mechanic to this spot, too. <laughs> yeah, making the, the thing so big also means that maintaining this is really hard. Look at the disrepair it is falling into. Oh, look at Mama Baby. Oh, oh my gosh. Our wolves. Our wolves are playing. Oh, Luna and Sol are finally getting along. Okay, we will... <laughs> there is so much to do, friends. So much to do. But it looks like our finances are vaguely starting to go into total profit. I'm hoping the ongoing expenses are still racing ahead of us, but we will race ahead of them. And I think what we can start really helping the entire zoo with is getting more spots where there can be more animals that don't need to have a lot in terms of powered maintenance. And I do have a lot of animals hiding inside of our trading that we can go ahead and start plucking out and seeing what we can do with, like the bards to peers that I apparently have a million of for some reason. Uh, and I hear like the ringtail lemurs, those would be adorable too. And I don't think that they would get too hot too quick. We need to start putting in some normal exhibits and more shops in like a little central area over here. I think we'll try to up our shops and keep our donations rising. So who, who? And now the macaques are having more babies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for our wonderful zoo. It is definitely an evolving work in progress together. <sighs> and if you have any ideas about how we could make things better, do let me know. But at least the wall is repaired and our poor little macaques have gotten attention. And we still have baby panda Al Al to just absolutely freak out about. Come on. That is definitely worth celebrating. Look at that face. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much. Do please consider subscribing if you would like to follow along for the chaotic daily zoo adventures. And I will see you all next time. Stay curious.